excited for why was I cut off there? I was half the man I used to be. There we go. All right. So happy new year, everybody. Hope you guys are doing amazing. Uh, very excited to be here today. We've got a lot of great stuff for you guys. And uh, just drop a one. I'd love to hear what you're grateful for in the chats today. I know first and foremost, congratulations to each and every one of you guys for showing up today. Um, you know, what's easy to do is easy not to do, in my opinion. And uh, I know it's a holiday weekend. And so for you just to take, you know, 30 to 60 minutes of your time out today to be with us just means a lot to us and Jake and Bart and everybody on the corporate staff and all the leaders. Um, we are committed in a big, big way uh, for this year to come. Hold on one second. Yes, we'll turn on French. Frenchies are in the house. Welcome, everybody. Hope you guys are doing awesome. And so we uh, we have a lot, a lot of stuff to cover today. Uh, some updates, announcements, and uh, just some give you give you guys a roadmap. I would say what as what I'm doing right now, leading up to the event in February, and uh, just kind of share some exciting stuff with you guys. So first and foremost, um, a lot of you guys know that uh, we have a launch system. How many of you, out of curiosity, have gone to guide number two previously? and went into our launch system and watched the first four videos and and have gone through that entire process and you know a lot of times the biggest thing i can tell you about affiliate marketing network marketing is systems and duplication a lot of people the the whole goal about our industry is to be eventually non-existent right where you can walk away from your business over time because you've built such a substantial duplicated business where you can walk away from it and have a system duplicating without you. That is the whole goal of our industry. And from the day one, that's what we've been focused on to do just that. Now, Corinne has worked tirelessly over the last few days, no joke, to simplify that system for all of us. And uh, we were actually chatting last night, I think around 11 or 12 Eastern, fine tuning everything. And we created a resource for each and every one of you to where it's a one-stop shop for everything from the launch system to frequently asked questions to all the training videos, all of our tools from Shout, from the Boards app, from literally everything you need in one stop. Because one of the things we want to do is uh, eliminate uh, the as uh, the email uh, population, maybe <laughs> that might be the good word that our, our support staff gets. That is something where they're answering a lot of questions for people that you could probably find on your own is really what I'm getting at. And uh, it just so happens that our landing page company that we use is rebooting their systems this morning and it's not we're not able to show it to you today <laughs> so that's the um i just text the owner of the company so hopefully it'll be up be between now and the time that this event is over and she can jump in and share with you the new flow chart if you will of our system so corinne if you can keep checking that app because i did email and, and call and text uh, our support, our guy that owns that company. So um, hopefully they'll get back to us here momentarily. But uh, real quickly, guys, a lot of you guys know next week, I am doing a social media mastery makeover. Uh, I want to just talk about that a minute because there's two ways that you can benefit from this tremendously. How many of you would truly like to 10x your business just in January alone? And if that's you, number one, you're going to want to get a free ticket to this event, okay? Now, it's very important for you to plug into this event because I'm going to literally spend time. I know we do these Saturday trainings. We do a lot of updates, announcements, promotions, and then we take 15 minutes of the hour and we give you a little nugget on recruiting or prospecting or whatever topic of that we're training on that day. But this event's going to be a lot different because I'm going to spend 60 to 90 minutes every night at nine o'clock Eastern on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday next week, 
And then on Friday, I'm going to do a live Q&A that we're going to compile all your questions from the week and answer those questions and just share with you not like the first three days are going to be all technique, psychology, transitions. I'm going to take what's in my brain on why I say things in a certain way and do things a certain way and deliver all that, which you're going to you're going to be mind blown next week. OK, some of it will be basic, but it's going to build on top of each other. The day one will be basic. Day two will be more advanced. Day three will be more advanced. And day four will tie it all together with a bow. But I want you to understand something. All the technique we're going to give you, you can go make six or seven figures in your business. No, no exaggeration. OK, but the last day we're going to talk about what it takes mentally to make sure you can be in the right position to apply all the knowledge that I give you. Because if you're not in the right spot mentally, the techniques don't matter. <clears throat> and so I just want you guys to know that we're going to tie it all together in a big way. So there's two big things next week that you want to understand about this event. Number one, you want to plug in because it's going to give you everything that I've done to make all my money and all my businesses since 2017. Okay. But number two, <clears throat> excuse me, is you want to use it as a lead magnet. That's the main reason why I'm doing this <clears throat> because ultimately you want to drive as many people to see Lavardi as you possibly can. <clears throat> Excuse me, losing my voice already. And it's only 9:10 where I'm at. Now, that's because we talk a lot last night, huh, Corinne? So, anyways, here's the thing though: the lead magnet is the most important part of this because so many people that like you want to show this business to a lot of people, and some of you have you know, your nerves or, you you know, you have people on your chicken list, or maybe you're just nervous to reach out to people because of fear, which we all know fear is false evidence appearing real. It's a, it's made up in your mind. It's not even a real feeling. It's just the thought that comes into your mind that you create. But ultimately a lot of people have fear in, in these types of businesses, which is understandable. So what I always try to do is lower that bar down to where it goes away, but we're going to literally help you enroll people and have a massive massive January. And the way we're going to do that is I'm going to build belief. I'm going to build no like, and trust over three days. I'm going to get them to engage in what we're doing, interact, get them to know me. I'm going to, they're going to get to know my personality and who I am and what we're all about. And I'm not going to talk about Lavardi the first three days, because this is a generic training. We're going to have other network marketers from other companies. We're going to have your community that is, for, you know, maybe in real estate or mortgage, financial planners, CPAs, attorneys, whatever it may look like. Anybody that's looking to brand themselves and generate leads from social media for free are, is going to want to be on this business. So I would put a list together today and truly start marketing this free event. And what's going to happen is we're going to get them to know, like, and trust us. We're going to build belief. They're going to build confidence. We're going to get them to a new uh, elevation or vibration in their in their entire life with what we're doing. But on the very last day, I'm going to do what I call my Ray Higdon mumbles, okay, where I'm, I'm going to mumble in a very aggressive, high-level way of if you thought this was valuable and you would like to have this opportunity to have this on a daily basis for free, where most people pay tens of thousands of dollars for, and you want to be able to work with somebody that's implementing what you just learned at a very high level, and you want to co-create something magical for 2024, and you want to potentially work with us, you know, here, I'm going to put a link in there where they can actually fill out a form. It's almost like they have to apply to work with me in Lavardi, which by the way, when they enroll into the free event next week, they're going to say, it's going to say who referred them. They're going to put your name on there. So I know who referred them. And then when they fill out the interview form and they, I'm going to also have on there who referred you, and I'm going to pretty much build that know, like, and trust, raise their expectations on business, teach them everything I know from the kitchen sink all over the place. And then I'm going to personally call all those people and sign them up for you. Like that's my job, but I'm going to, I'm going to work for you all next week. So if you leverage that the right way, you're going to have an explosive January. By the way, how many of you realize that we have a contest going on right now in December, in January, in February, we're giving away a cruise. We're giving away an in-person ticket to our event for the top two names we pull. By the way, 
Um, the, in, in normal, uh, in business, December is always a slower month. It just is. It's not Lavardi. It's not, and it's, it's every company in every industry because people are in vacation mode. My friend, I see Jeff Fagan's on vacation in LA. We talked about this the other night at, at a birthday party. Just that people check out between Thanksgiving and Christmas. It is what it is. The highest achievers check out for the most part, even between November and December. Very, very, very few people don't check out during the holidays, all right? So it's normal, embrace it, it's all right, it, it, it's life, it is what it is. But guess what? We still have a day and a half left of December and this will be the least amount of production that we ever do in our company, which gives you the highest opportunity to win our promotion right now. So you have a day and a half. And so some people will look at it two ways, right? Is the glass half full? Is the glass half empty? Some people are saying, oh, I only got a day and a half left. I don't know if I can win, get one sale to get in the drawing. And some people are like, thank God, I only got one and a half days to knock this thing out, right? How many of you remember in high school, I remember this very clearly, where I would get a homework assignment that was due 30 days from now, like a book report. And I didn't go home on day one and sit there and get it all done right away. I didn't do a little bit every day for 30 days. On the 29th hour of the 29th day, I sat in my room and got on, you know, figured out how to get something done and just gave them whatever I could deliver in that short period of time. And I procrastinated. How many of you remember that? Or was that just me? And we just, you know, threw something together and we got an A, B, C, or D or whatever you got, right? And just know that people always lay, wait till the last minute. It's human nature, procrastination. And to me, procrastination is the assassination to your dreams, goals, and life, period. But you got 36 hours to go put in one sale to have a high probability of winning a cruise. Like it's thousands of dollars of value. And the second drawing we do, we'll have a live in-person ticket. So just really push through you know, this next couple of days. And uh, obviously we got an amazing cruise going to Jamaica. Uh, we're going to Cozumel. We're going to the Cayman Islands. We are going to Bahamas. And I will tell you one thing. It's not about the cruise. It's not about the destinations, all they, although those are amazing uh, destinations. It's about the, the conversations at dinner, having coffee, watching the sunrise, building relationships, building community, being together. You know, the biggest thing since COVID is people are lacking and wanting is community. And that's exactly what Lavardi is all about, guys. It's not about a booking engine. By the way, our booking engine is getting enhanced. I cannot wait until February. I will tell you this right now, that we will, mark my words, be the number one travel company in the very, in the very uh, near future in the affiliate marketing space. You know, we're working on a partnership right now with what we believe, my partners, Bart, Jake, and our COO, Dave, believe the number one person in the travel space. Like this guy has more knowledge in travel than an encyclopedia. Like this guy has more, more experience, more knowledge. He helped build, build a company to almost $900 million in sales. And he is dying to lock arms with Lavardi and our ownership and co-create and make this a billion dollar company over the next 10 years, which is a million subscribers with what we're doing. Like he is literally pushing and trying to get into our culture and community. He sees our vision. He wants to be a part of it. He does not want to be left behind. And I'm just telling you right now, we have something magical that we're going to deliver in February. And so a lot of you guys know in February, uh, we have the in-person event. It was moved to Tampa, Florida. If you've been living under a rock, I want to make sure you don't fly to uh, Austin. But uh, we are going to Tampa, all right? And uh, we've got an amazing uh, studio. It's a TV studio where the Home Shopping Network and many other companies have been filmed out of there. We're going to have a big screen with people on Zoom where we can actually see your face and you can chat and we can communicate back. But we're going to have a live studio audience with 75 people in that audience. And uh, not only do we have the man, the myth, the legend, Ray Higdon, Marcus Seta, go Google those guys if you don't know who they are. We got Kevin Harrington, which is 
absurd. Uh, we are actually bringing on a fourth guest speaker, and that'll be our last guest speaker. I'm bringing on the number one uh, CPA tax strategist for home-based business owners. You can go Google her, uh, Courtney Epps from OTB Tax out of South Carolina. She's actually going to drive down, be there in person with us, and deliver the goods. She was on Ray Higdon's stage during the pandemic. Um, if you watch that uh, Rank Makers Live, she was on his stage. And just know that uh, early bird pricing is for the next few weeks. It's only uh, $199 to be in person. Uh, online, I believe, is $97, if I'm not mistaken, with the recordings. I highly recommend one of those two options. Jake, do you want to chat a little bit about you know, just the experience and the value of being in person versus online? Well, yeah, <clears throat> it's kind of like what you said, DJ, with the uh, cruise. It's a very good point, guys. Understand, being on these cruises and on these curated trips and at these events, it, there's just something magical about it, getting to know the people in this community and building relationships and building bonds with people in Lavardi. And um, it's like, as DJ was going through the list of <clears throat> these three marquee speakers that we have, I'm, I'm still kind of blown away, right? I mean, any one of those three people are typically the keynote speaker at huge events, okay? Understand that. We have three different major keynote speakers. I mean, Kevin Harrington from Shark Tank. I mean, Kevin, I've, I've watched, I've known Kevin for almost 30 years. He and I were business partners for many years, and, and I've watched his career. And I'm telling you, he gets, no joke, he gets six figures to go and speak for companies. And we've got an opportunity to have him along with Marcus Etta, Ray Higdon. I mean, you guys are very familiar with those two. They're, they're the two, in my opinion, the two biggest, most credible coaches, mentors in the entire direct sales industry right now. So the opportunity to be one of only 75 people, okay, and we're limited um, to the number of people that we can have because, again, it's in a live studio. It's going to be professionally broadcast. So if you're not here, you know, you're going to have an opportunity to, to professionally see it online, as DJ was mentioning. But there is something very magical about being here in person and being part of that energy, getting to meet these, you know, all the different people in Lombardi. You know, I talked to Kevin. He's willing to hang out for a while after he speaks and takes, you know, will take pictures with you'll have an every single person there will have an opportunity to get a photo with Kevin if that's what you want. And uh, and we all know that stuff matters, right? In this world of social media, it can only help your business. It can only help your business to be promoting this event there as you're live, posting pictures and stuff like that. So I hope you guys will get there. And, and I just, before we move on, I think we're going to be able to show in a few minutes, we're going to be able to show you um, an interview that I did with the head business development guy from MSC Cruise Lines. And he's going to go through this cruise and show you some cool pictures and talk about all the amenities of the Seascape ship that we're going to be on in June. But I just want to reiterate what DJ said. You have no idea how incredibly, what an incredible opportunity you have, I should say, this month to get your name in that hat because what DJ said is so true. This will be the least amount of production that Lavardi ever sees in one month in, in history. Ever again, this month will be the lowest number of new affiliates, new members that we enroll in Lavardi ever. And it's just, it's, it's just, it's a unique set of circumstances. Number one, we're a brand new company. We're still in pre-launch and we're right here in the <laughs> holidays, right? So you have a day and a half to go get one ticket in that drawing that we're going to do, I guess, probably next week. The next time we do this call, we're going to be drawing one winner and you're going to have, an, a, you know, a, a, a lot better than average opportunity if you just get your name in that hat. So I would do whatever I had to in the next um, 24 hours, day and a half, whatever it is. And by the way, I just want to make one clarification. DJ keeps saying Tampa, Florida. It's it's actually technically it's in Clearwater. I've had a couple of people text me that were a little bit confused. Tampa, Clearwater, St. Pete, if you haven't been in this area, it's like the Tri-Cities, right? So Tampa is 
the the major airport, right? But depending on where you are in the country, I would look into uh, there's an airport and it's called the St. Pete Clearwater Airport. And a lot of smaller uh, um, airports throughout the country will fly into St. Pete and Clearwater. But Tampa International or St. Pete Clearwater Airport, both are, are perfect. The St. Pete Clearwater Airport is probably literally five minutes from where we'll be. And the Tampa Airport is about 15 minutes or 20 minutes from where we'll be. So it's Tampa Bay, but technically we're going to be in Clearwater. And uh, Corinne, I promise you today, as soon as this call's over, I'm going to send her um, about four or five different hotels right here in this area where the conference is going to be. I'll give you a couple of, you know, nice I and I, uh, choices to look at and then some more affordable, um, you know, more budget type places that you can look at. And keep in mind that we are going to do that beach party. You know, that's the other thing about being here live. We're going to have some fun. We're partnering up with the, uh, the Cabana Club down at St. Pete Beach. And we're going to have a big beach party on Friday and we will provide and we'll specify the hotel. We're going to have a, uh, a van that will help transport some people down to the beach. So you don't have to get Uber or rent a car or anything like that to go to the beach party, but we're only going to be able to pick up people at one location. So if you don't stay at that particular location, you just have to get there. Uh, by a certain time on Friday, and we'll provide some transportation. But I hope to see you guys here. And I hope, again, I hope you guys will do whatever you can in the next day and a half to get that one ticket in the, because I'm looking forward next week to see who the first person to win this cruise is. Because when you see the pictures and videos that we're going to show you in just a minute, you're going to be, it's a brand new ship. I mean, they think the ship's only like a year old. So it's a brand new ship. It's beautiful. And we're going to have some fun. So I hope to see everyone there. By the way, Bart, can you hear me? I noticed you haven't paid yet either, sir. So we're going to have to get you signed up. Today. <laughs> Bart, Bart, Bart is going for sure, but uh, we got to get get you You're locked in before that thing sells out. <laughs> as soon as the call is Security over, my friend, not. I'll take All care right. of it. All right. Security will not let him in otherwise. So <laughs> that is for sure. Real quick, Jake, is it St. Pete or St. Pete's Beach? I can't. I don't remember which one it is. The party is at St. Pete Beach, not plural. <laughs> Everyone outside of Florida always says St. Pete's. It is St. Petersburg Beach and St. Pete. So St. Pete Beach is an island, but it's only about, um, again, it's about 15 or 20 minutes from where we'll be staying and where the event is. So it's all real close in proximity. But the beach party is at St. Pete Beach. And the actual studio that we'll be in is in Clearwater. But again, it's all right here together. So no big deal. St. Pete Airport, St. Pete Clearwater Airport or Tampa International would be good options to fly into. Awesome. So a couple quick things. Yes, uh, Lisa's asking in the chat, what do we need to do to qualify for the December drawing? Corinne, do you want to share the uh, contest with everybody real quick? Sure thing. So it's really simple. You help one person. If you help one person become a member and tap into all of the goodness that is Lavarni, you get your name in the drawing. Obviously, the more people you help, the more entries that you will gain. Um, but eat in the end, the clock starts over every single month. So you help one person this month, you get an entry. You win, you're on the boat or you're at the event. You help somebody else. And let's say you don't get picked this month. You have another opportunity in January and in February. So one person, y'all, we can all do this. I have my list. I'm already going to be talking to people. I've been uh, sharing all of the things that I'm doing to utilize the product. That is one tip I will give you guys is share yourself using the product. So I shared myself going on a vacation with my family over the holidays. And today I have a post all ready to say, hey, by the way, you know that trip I just took? I saved like hundreds of dollars on it because of Lavardi. So live it out loud, and then you can come in with the value of how you actually use the product um, to live out the dash life. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. And Tracy, yes, your spouse can come to the beach party as well. We want family there. We want friends there. We are one big community. So absolutely, uh, all is welcome. 
Looks like we have some uh, people that have been on the cruise. Amy's with us out from uh, Cyprus, has been on this cruise ship. So excited to uh, have her back on there with us. So a couple of things, guys, that I want to talk about before we show a video at the end of this. We're going to show about a 10 or 12 minute video. Jake did an interview with one of the head honchos at MSC a couple of weeks ago and recorded it and explained the benefits and features and value and all the cool stuff about the ship. So if you're interested in seeing that, you want to stay on at the end, uh, we're going to play that. Again, it's 10 or 12 minutes long, and we'll cue that up. But here's what I want to talk to you guys about today as far as the training goes, is a lot of people reach out to me and say, what do I do right now to build and grow my business? What's the best strategy? What's the best tactics? And here's what I am doing as an affiliate, taking off my corporate hat for a minute, getting in the trenches with you, which is my favorite place to be is the first thing I'm doing is number one, I'm making sure I'm registered for the event, obviously in person if possible, all right? Number two is I'm calling all of my affiliates to get them registered for the event as well. Those are the first two things I'm doing because one of the things that I learned early in my career is real estate. Having the most people at every event will make you the most money. I wasn't the greatest salesperson in my first network marketing company. And uh, my mentor, Mark Aceta, who's training at this event, uh, taught me, he said, it, you don't have to be the best salesperson in our company, let alone in our industry. What you need to learn how to be is the best promoter and have the most people in the real room, which is the real estate, at every event in your company, and you will make the most money. And so I got really good at being a phenomenal promoter. How many of you guys have heard of Don King before? Put Don King in the comments if you've heard of Don King before. And if you haven't, go Google him on YouTube or what have you. But Don King was the number one promoter and boxer when Mike Tyson was coming up in his career. And he truly made Mike Tyson who he was in his profession. And if you, he made as much, if not more money than Mike Tyson, and he never took one lick in the ring because he was the greatest promoter of all time. And when Mark shared that story with me, I wanted to become the Don King of network marketing. I wanted to be the best of the best at promoting events. And I got really good at it early in my career. And that's why I became his number one earner by the time I was 20, 22, 23 years old. I wasn't the most talented. I wasn't the most skilled. I had a lot of flaws. <laughs> Just ask everybody around me. And uh, I was not polished. I was a bowling ball in a china cabinet. I had big goals and dreams and no talent or skills. I just, I just showed up and slopped it up and didn't care. But I got really good at promoting Mark Asetta. And I, that was more or less my product. And I, got, I just sold out to selling out and promoting the events. And that's how I became who I became in the network marketing profession. And I'll teach that in detail at the event, by the way, because we, we teach how to build from event to event to event. And I'll take a deep dive on this topic at that event on how I became the number one money earner in my early 20s in that company or in his, com in his uh, business, in his downline. And so that's the first two things I would do. Then the set, third thing I would do, going back to the basics, how many people have ever been play, played in sports and they always talk about the basics, the fundamentals of playing a position in any sport you ever do, right? That's truly this business. We can get very, uh, you know, deep dive on psychology and theory and concepts and ideas and attraction marketing, referral posts, curiosity posts, prospecting. Hold on, somebody's trying to share their screen here. How do we stop this? Steve, I appreciate you trying to share your screen, but uh, this is not your platform. All right, so where's the big hook where we pull Steve off the stage? All right, that's where we're at. So uh, understand something, guys. So just know, going back to the basics, going back to the fundamentals in our business is everything. What I'm doing right now, okay? This is what DJ is doing right now is I'm building two lists. That's it. A list of people I'm going to lead for products. I talked to Paul about this last week. 
and then a list of people that I believe that are visionaries, opportunists, people that want to make money. They want to have more money in 2024 than 2023, okay? People that want to get in early. They're early adapters. Write down early adapters. Put in the chat early adapters. Those are the people that we want to talk to right now, okay? I'm not leading with the product yet. And the only, not that we don't have a great product, very transparently, we have a great product. Uh, we have people saving money all over the place, okay? But we're enhancing it 10x of where it's at today, okay? I'm telling you that I'm not over, uh, I use a word called puffery. That's a, that's a legal word in, in the legal system, okay? I am not puffering this, okay? This is a big deal what we're rolling out in, in February. So I know that, all right? And we'll share more as we get closer to the event. But I'm telling you right now, I am leading with recruiting, okay? Anytime a company is new, you're going to have more affiliates than customers. That's just the way it starts. And then over time, you're going to have more customers than affiliates because let's be honest, there's more people that eat at a restaurant than work at a restaurant. And there's more people that work at a restaurant that own a restaurant, which means we're going to have more customers than actual builders in the long term. We want a 10 to 1 or 20 to 1 ratio with customers and affiliates over time. Okay. But here's the but co-creating this right now you want to go after your tens your nines your eights what we call your chicken list you should have zero chicken list right now everybody is fair game all i can tell you is if you don't talk to people about lavardi somebody else is going to or they're going to sign up in another opportunity that is lesser than what you have your hands on. Nobody has our comp plan. Nobody's paying out our revenue share models. Nobody's gonna have all of our products in one, one company the way that we're setting this up. Literally, we will be the number one travel company over the next 10 years. I'm just telling you that. I'm not selling you. I'm, I'm letting you know and informing you that's going to happen and you're at the right place at the right time. So you have to have that blind faith. You have to have that trust the, of what I am telling you and what Bart and Jake are co-creating with me, we're telling you is going to happen. Like we're sharing the future with you where you're looking behind the curtain before the future comes to you. And so the last four, the, 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 is the last step of the making the two lists, the four step is making sure that you are in the highest pool that you desire, because this will get to several million dollars a month very, very shortly after the event with what we're doing. And I'm just telling you right now, you'll be in a position to make a full-time income. What we're creating has really never been done in this space with all the different components. Has it all been done a la carte individually? Yes, but not together. And I don't know why it's never been done that way, but I'm just telling you, we have the cookie, all right? We have the deal. So the people that I'm talking to right now are visionaries, people that want to make money. And that's all I'm talking to right now. I'm not even talking about the product. I'm telling I'm talking about what's coming out without telling them what's coming out. All right. I'm telling them, let it informing them that all the online travel agencies did 30 billion last year. And we created a product and a company and a system and all the tools to carve out some of that 30 billion and put it into your pocket so you can be just like an Expedia or a booking.com or a hotels.com and co-create something magical. And I'm talking about impact and disruption and how Uber disrupted taxi and Netflix disrupted Blockbuster and how Spotify, you know, put out, you know, uh, Circuit City and all the different things. I'm sharing the vision. I'm talking about how we solved a 65-year-old problem and how Lavardi's the big ship at sea. And, you know, the Titanic is all the other work from home opportunities and they have holes in the bucket. And I'm talking about all the good stuff about what we're creating and what we're doing. And we broke the code. And the question I have for you, is it worth investing $100 up front and $50 a month and being an affiliate for $50 to see? Because timing, placement, and positioning 
is absolutely everything with the company. It just is. And that's what I'm selling right now. I'm not selling savings on booking an airfare. That's just comes with the territory. I'm talking about community. I'm talking about culture. I'm talking about curated trips. For those of you that haven't been on our Zooms, how many of you heard of the example of Las Vegas? Put Las Vegas in the chat if you have. And if you haven't, that's what we're going to be known for. Okay. The curated trips is our cookie. All right, the curated trips. How many of you have been to Vegas? Put Vegas in the chats if you've been to Vegas before. How many of you think going to the MGM Grand for three nights, four days, getting in a double-decker bus, going to a Virgin uh, Hotel experience, having uh, appetizers and drink tickets one night, the next day taking a double-decker tour bus around Vegas to see the real Vegas, and the third day going to the raceway, driving go-karts or or exotic cars like Lamborghinis, Ferraris, and Porsches, or Indy cars, or going to a show, uh, Circus Soleil, the last day for a thousand eighty dollars per couple is a value, because that's the kind of stuff you can't buy anywhere online. I was told the other day just the experience to drive exotic cars at the raceway is a two hundred fifty dollars. Staying at MGM Grand is probably more than five hundred dollars. And with Lavardi, you get all of what I mentioned, plus a community and experience and memories that last a lifetime for under 600 bucks a person. Like that's it. that's what we're bringing to the game. Like not even being launched as a company yet, finishing our third pre-launch month, we have two of the biggest names in network marketing on our stage, the biggest name in traditional business on our stage, the biggest name in home-based business CPA on our stage. Do you realize they would not be on our stage if they didn't believe in Jake and Bart, myself and the Lavardi vision? Like I'm telling you guys, you don't know what you have your hands on right now. It's insane. So I want to, to share that with you because when I get on the phone with people, I know that I, I'm a little loud, right? I'm, I talk, I've got energy, I'm excited, okay? I'm like this every time I'm on the phone with people. Some people are on the phone, that I think they're doing a drug deal because they're talking so quiet, they don't want to be heard. And I'm telling you right now, you need to be heard because energy attracts, all right? You're going to attract better quality people with energy, all right. And I'm just telling you, you need to get some. If you have to run around with scissors, run up and down the stairs, do something to get excited. Smile, show your face, let your face know that you're happy. Like I'm telling you guys right now that you are at the right place at the right time. All right. But you have to buy into it. OK, I can't build this on my own. Jay can't build this on his own. Bart can't do this on his own. This is a team effort. This is a team sport. We all rise together. OK, we're all co-creating. I can tell you right now, there's enough people in this company, if everybody got to pool six, to be doing over a million a month in revenue. You just have to do your part. Now, I know all of you don't have the desire to get to pool six. That's not the point of that. The point is, focus on what you can control, your personal production, as what I'm doing, to make sure I'm personally qualified in the highest pool I desire by February. Because then all the rest of the company will rise with you. That's as simple as it gets. And at, at a very minimum, just get one sale so you can get in the drawings. That's the biggest thing I can share with you. But those four things is what I'm doing right now. I'm registering for the event. I'm getting all my affiliates registered for the event. I made my two list. I'm leading with the business. I'm going after my early adapters, talking about vision, talking about community, talking about what's gonna happen. I'm speaking everything that I believe into existence. All right. When, when I talk about all this crazy stuff with you guys, guess what? I believe it. Like I know it's already here. I visually see already us hanging on the cruise, Tina, having a nightcap with some nuts on the bar at the piano bar. Like I already see what is happening on the cruise. I already visualize what is happening at the event. I see you getting your picture with Kevin Harrington, having a breakthrough moment having emotion go through your body. You're going to be levitating because you're you're so excited that for the first time in your life, you were at the right place at the right time and you actually took action. 
You actually did something with it because we've all been at the right place, right time on certain things. Some of you took action, some of you did it. This is your shot. I don't know how many shots you get in life, but this was a this is the biggest shot that I've got with Lavardi, guys. I'm just telling you, and we are all in. Our chips are in. We are working day and night behind the scenes. We have the best COO in the industry with David Price. He's texting me at 6 a.m., 10 at night. He is working weekends. He is working around the clock to make sure this is the best opportunity for all of us, guys. I'm just telling you, wait till you get to hang out with him at the event. He is a gem. We are blessed to have him. I'm sure, Jake, you agree uh, with that as well as Bart. I mean, without him, I don't know what we would do. He is literally a gem to run our corporation. He is all in. I mean, he is... He acts as an owner. I'm just telling you what we, you know, where what we do behind the scenes, you would have no idea. And uh, he's amazing. Here's the best part about our COO, Dave Price, as well, is, you know, we've, we've talked many times about the heartbeat of Lavardi will always be an organization, okay? Um, and, I mean, you see the enthusiasm, the excitement in DJ. That's, that's coming from his heart. So the heartbeat of Lavardi is an organization first, corporation second. But you got to have the corporate infrastructure. It's so important. You've got to have both. But I want you to know the heartbeat of the company is right here in the field. And what I love about Dave is he gets that. He understands that. He is he's a traditional corporate guy with a vision for what we're doing. He's been around this space. He's been involved on a corporate level in this space for close to 30 years and he understands what we're talking about right here. And there's no ego with him. That's the thing about this team that we're putting together. There's no ego in this team at all. And, uh, and I was DJ, I was taking notes as fast as I could, as you were talking, but did you at some point suggest that we run around the house with scissors? Did I hear yes. that? Right? Okay. Just to get your vibration up, your energy up, you know, motion okay. creates emotion. You got to get off your ass. Right. So that's the way it works. Sure I heard that right. Okay. Just a disclaimer. If that happens that anybody's injured, it's not Lavardi's fault. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. That's right. So right guys, so are we going to show this video? Yeah, we're going to show a video. All I want you to understand from today is get in the game. I know that there's two mindsets right now in pre-launch some people have one foot in some people are sitting on the bench waiting until launch and i understand and i respect that all right you're the best part is is that you're in you're in the tree you got your position all right that's awesome but if you have a handful of a-listers that you know that would absolutely crush this thing you need to reach out to them because they'll be upset if you don't. I know I would be upset if you didn't reach out to me about this opportunity. Everybody's always looking for that slight edge in business. And you have that miracle in your mouth right now. And I promise you, if you reach out to me, everybody knows this, I answer. And so I want you to leverage me like a workhorse over the next 45 days leading up to this event and put me to work with your A-listers, your 10s, your 9s, your 8s. You don't need me for your grandma or your mama. I'm talking your ballers, your players. You get me on the phone with your mama, it better be for dinner, all right? Not for an opportunity. You can talk to them on your own. But I want to talk to the people that are going to help you get rich, all right? Plain and simple, all right? Peak and Pass made me a lot of money. It made Jeff Fagan a lot of money. It made people that took advantage of the Peak and Pass concept and made a lot of money, you're literally three feet from gold. I just want you guys to know that. And I, lastly, before I play this video, I just want you guys to know I appreciate each and every one of you, your trust, your faith, your belief in everything that we're doing and showing up on a holiday weekend, all right? There was 70 people on this on a, on a holiday weekend. And I just want to congratulate you. As my friend Jeff says, 80% of success is just showing up. And you showed up today. Working out's not tough. Driving to the gym is a is a is a task, right? But getting that once you're there, it's easy to lift the weights and go do the thing. But getting there is half the battle, right? That's the mindset. Okay. Now I'm gonna play a video. Or actually, Corinne's gonna play a video because my internet was slow. 
And this is a video. It's just it's a promotion about the the cruise, the what we're doing. It's an interview with Jake. I'm gonna uh, pass the uh, mic over to Jake so he can uh, set this up properly for you guys. Well, there's there's not really much to set up. I just wanted everyone to have an opportunity to see the amenities of this incredible ship. If you've been on a cruise before, uh, you know that some are nicer than others, right? I mean, it's just, it's like hotels. You've got some really nice hotels and you've got some low end budget hotels. And, um, you know, what I have found, I've, you know, the previous company that I owned, we did uh, a lot of promotions. We went on a lot of cruises. I mean, multiple cruises each and every year. And um, we, we made the mistake early on a couple of times of not picking the best ship. And, and that was one thing that we discussed when we decided we were going to take a cruise is that, you know, whatever it is, we're going to find a nice ship. So this is a, uh, a almost brand new, I think it's like a year old, uh, some incredible amenities. So I just wanted to give you an opportunity to see it. And we were fortunate enough to grab one of the, um, the head business development guys from MSC to jump on here and go through it with us. So you're going to see the ship. You're going to see the very cool island that MSC actually owns in the Bahamas. It's their island, and we're going to be there, uh, and you'll see pictures of it. We're going to be there from 8 a.m. until 8 p.m. one day. So it's going to be a blast. Uh, so just enjoy it. I think it's about a 12 or 15-minute interview here, but you're going to get a good sense for what this uh, MSC Seascape ship is all about. Super excited to take the next few minutes and have a conversation with Tom Muldoon. Did I say that right, Tom? You did. You all did. right. And, and Tom is a business development manager for the MSC Cruise Line. And, and as you guys know, we are about to be taking our very first curated trip here at Lavardi, setting sail on June 15th on the Seascape. So we've invited Tom on to uh, kind of talk about the ship that we're going to be going on and some of the amenities. And he's got some pictures to share with us and, and uh, just kind of get an inside look of this beautiful ship that the way I understand is only like a year old, right? Maybe a year old or so. Um, just a little over a year. So we are we're very excited about this. And just to remind everybody before we get into it, I just want to remind everybody that we currently have a promotion going on. Lavardi's giving away a free cruise to three individuals, one in December, one in January and one in February. Just to remind you, all you have to do is sell one membership to qualify for a drawing at the end of December. So at the end of December, everyone that's enrolled, at least one member will get one ticket in the drawing. If you enroll two members, you'll get two tickets. If you enroll three members, you'll get three tickets. And at the end of December, we're going to pick one winner. And then we'll do the same thing in January and February. So all you have to do to have a shot at winning and having this cruise paid for is to just enroll at least one new member in December, January, and February. So the more you enroll, the better your chances, but at least one gives you an opportunity. So, Tom, with that, I'm going to just turn it over to you. I'm excited to uh, to take a look here and then tell us all about the uh, MSC Seaside. Is it Seaside or Seascape? Well, actually, it is the MSC Seascape that, we are, uh, that you guys are cruising on next year. Okay, well, this, it pulled me here with the Seaside, but the Seascape. All right. So yep. I want to make sure we have the right ship, okay? We do, we do. Right. So I'll, I'll expand on that a little bit. The reason I'm showing you the MSC Seaside is, uh, you know, MSC has been in business now for really the cruise side of the business, only since about the year 2000, since we really started building our first ships. The reason I show you the Seaside here is that she was our first ship that we built in, the, in the, what we call the C-Class. So she came out in 2017. Um, the Seascape that we'll be cruising on uh, in June is the, uh, we just came out last year. We launched her in November of, uh, of 2022. And so she's like this. She looks similar to this, but she has a lot of great upgrades. So she's amazing. So, you know, I know that MSC isn't the most well-known cruise line out there, so I kind of want to tell you a little bit about us. Um, I mean, we are the world's fastest growing cruise line. Um, we're the third largest already in capacity. Um, in some areas of the world, we carry more passengers than anybody else. So like in Europe and South America, South Africa, uh, the Middle East, um, we're the leader in those areas of the world. And our, uh, our main goal is to be the leading cruise line in the U.S. So um, we've only really been sailing in the U.S. since about 2008 and only full-time in the U.S. since 2016. But in that short time, since since 2016, when we started sailing here full time, um, you know, we, we've expanded. We sail now full time out of Miami, out of Port Canaveral, out of New York. We just announced we're going to be sailing out of Galveston starting in uh, 2025. Uh, so it, the company's expanding like crazy here in the U.S. And, uh, and like I said, we want to be the number one cruise line here in the U.S. It's going to take a long time. But, you know, that's what, that's what our commitment is to. So, Tom, let me, um, let me ask you, how, how many different ships? I'm just curious. How many different ships do you have currently sailing in the U.S.? So we have 23 ships total in our fleet, and here in the U.S., we have uh, one in New York, we have one in Port Canaveral, we have two currently in Miami, so that's a total of four, and we bring another one into Miami. Um, uh, it's coming in shortly here in the next uh, week or so, so we'll have a total of five here throughout the winter months. Okay. Yeah. 
So again, we have 23 ships total. We go to like 250 destinations around the world. So we really are a, 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 a huge international com uh, company. Um, the main thing that really makes us different, and uh, you, you know, a lot of your a lot of your um, employees may have sailed with with uh, uh, other cruise lines. And like I said, we are a, uh, an Italian cruise line, so we are a little bit different. The great thing about us is that we are very international. So we have a lot of international guests on board our ships. Um, the, and what's really reflected in that is the food. So because we have so many different nationalities on board our ships, the food is just amazing. We have all that great American food on board the ships, as well as food from a number of other countries around the world. So I always like the buffets. I think that the food on board our ships, I think, is amazing. Um, so let's talk a little bit about the ship that you guys are going on. Like I said, the MSC Seascape was just launched back in, um, in November of last year, and she's been in Miami since she first came out. There's a nice, beautiful picture of her from the outside. She holds about 4,500 passengers, but she's got a, a great uh, space to guest ratio. So there's a lot of space on board the ship. The one main thing about this ship and this class of ships that kind of sets her apart from other cruise ships is that she was built for the outdoors. She was built for cruising in the Caribbean. So most cruise ships have a promenade that you can walk around on the outside of the ship, and they're usually way up on deck 16 or, or 20. They're way up there. They're over 150 feet above the water. The promenade on this ship is just two decks above the water, right on deck eight. So when you walk around the outside of the ship, the water's right there. So a lot of the activities on this ship are built for the outdoors, and, and there's a lot of outdoor space that's utilized on this class of ship more than any other class of ship. I, I really love this class of ship. I've sailed on, uh, I've been on over uh, 20 MSC cruises. I love this class of ship. I think it's our best. I definitely think it's our best class of ship. Um, All right. She's, she's got a lot of amenities. She's got uh, six different pools. Uh, the pool that we see here on top, that's up on the top deck. Um, we're going to see some pictures of the of the uh, adults only infinity pool on the back, which is really nice. Um, she's got great kids areas. And what that means to you is that if you have kids, it's great because we take care of, of all the kids on board. They have a great time. If you're sailing and you don't have any kids, we're taking care of everybody else's kids. So they're not really running under the foot where all the adults are. So there's a lot of great things on there for, for kids to do to keep them away from the adult areas. So um, we've got great interactive slides on board the ship. Uh, the uh, MSC Aurea Spa is amazing, and it's got an area of the spa that you can go into called the thermal area uh, that you can use some different different activities down there, a snow room, uh, the, the saunas, the dry heat. Uh, it's pretty cool. Um, this ship, the Seascape, uh, like I said, I, we showed the seaside first. The Seascape is just a little bit larger, and we made some nice changes on it from the seaside that make it, I think, a much better ship. Um, we expanded the casino. We have more retail space. We moved the restaurants down to a whole other area of the ship, which I'm going to show you some pictures of, which I think are, is in a much better area and just, just makes a lot better use of the space. Now, if you've never cruised with MSC before, we win awards every single year for the entertainment on board our ships. So because we do have international clientele on board the ships, the, the shows that we do like in the main theater um, are not necessarily singing, but they're, they're really um, more theatrical. Uh, they're very colorful. There's a lot of, um, we take a lot of aspects from Cirque du Soleil, like a lot of feats of strength and cool things like that that we do in our shows so that pretty much anybody can enjoy them. And like I said, we win awards every single year on the entertainment. Um, plus there's a lot of other entertainment going on on the ship besides the main theaters. You've, you've got the, the stage and the atrium, which I think we'll show some pictures of. Um, there's uh, the Le Cabre Rouge Lounge, which, which is amazing. Probably the best lounge, I think, on any of our ships in the fleet. And I'll show you some pictures of that as well as we go forward. I've, I've heard a lot about the entertainment. That was one of the things that, you know, so many of these ships, you just get like these C-rated stand-up comedians every single night. So it's, you know, it's nice to have some some really good entertainment, you know? It is. And, you know, the shows are short. They're you know, only 45 minutes long. And, and we do uh, a couple different shows throughout the week. So, you know, it's always nice to catch a, to catch a show. Um, there's a lot of different dining options on this ship also. So uh, for the rate that the guests pay, you, you get to eat in the main dining room every night if you'd like to. That's all included in what you've already paid. But there's also a lot of different choices on board the ship if you want to try something different. Um, the picture here, you've got the outdoor restaurant. It's an indoor outdoor steak restaurant called The Butcher's Cut. Um, I don't know if you like steak, but I like a good ribeye. And the best ribeye I've ever had in my life was, was on board the Seascape in the Butcher's Cut restaurant. It was amazing. Um, you've got indoor and outdoor dining as well. So uh, if you want to eat outdoors and the weather's nice, you can eat outdoors as well as indoors. Um, we've got the Ola's Tacos restaurant, which is here in the top left-hand corner. Um, $17, all you can eat Mexican food, and it's authentic. It's really, really good. You've got the teppanyaki tables that we have. Uh, we've got a regular sit-down restaurant uh, in the Asian section, as well as a sushi bar with a conveyor belt. So that's pretty cool. So here's kind of more of a close-up picture of, of the uh, uh, Alfresco dining with the Butcher's Cut restaurant. You've got the infinity pool on the back. So this is kind of different from some of our other pools on the ship. Um, typically, you have to jump in the pool to get wet. This one, you just kind of can walk in. So if you don't want to jump in completely, you know, it's, it's kind of layered. So it's just right. shallow as well. Right. But um, this pool is on the back of the ship. And you can see how close it is to the water. It's right on deck eight, right where the promenade is. And uh, it's an adults-only pool as well. Very cool. 
Something really nice you'll notice also is running up the sides there, you'll see those rounded balconies. Those are suites that are on the, on the uh, aft end of the ship. And uh, those are really nice. You've got the big picture window for those as well and the huge balcony. So uh, a lot of guests like to book those. I got a question. Is that the, what they would be considered like a junior suite, like one step up from the balcony, regular balcony suite? Um, that's considered an Aurea suite. Um, okay. So it's, it's really two steps up. Okay, I got you. All right, because I was looking at the suite, the one right above the, uh, the balcony level. Okay, I got you. Yeah, those are really nice. Um, the ship also has infinity whirlpools along the side, so you'll notice this is a huge whirlpool that holds about, about 20 guests, and it's right on the side of the ship. We have one on either side of the ship. It's kind of neat. And then this is Le Cabaret Rouge Lounge. Like I said, this is the, I think this is the best venue on any of our ships. Um, we do live music here in the evenings. It's, a tr it's really got three layers or three, three, uh, three stages. You've got the bottom layer, you've got the middle where you can see some of the chairs off to the left side, and then you have the top level, so three different levels. Something really nice about this lounge also is on the very top level on the back, um, there's some rooms up there that are kind of cut up, so you can sit there and talk with your friends, but still hear the music that's going on if you don't want to be like right in the middle of all the music. But uh, it's a great lounge and a great spot to see to see live music. This is the atrium bar that's right in the middle of the ship. You've got the bar on the bottom floor. One floor up, you've got a stage there where we have a performers there each night. And then uh, you've got the beautiful Swarovski crystal staircases, $10,000 a step leading up to each floor on the sides. So it's a, it's a pretty amazing area. And the seascape's also kind of themed. It's got kind of a New York theme in parts of it. So you've got the Statue of Liberty there and some other artwork on board the ship themed to New York. It's got a great game room. We've got pool tables, we've got shuffleboard, darts. So there's some, some uh, cool games you can play there right on board the ship. Here's a picture, uh, I think I misplaced the slides. Here's a picture of the sushi conveyor belt. So yeah. basically what happens is you've got the sushi chefs, chefs making sushi. You sit down and it's basically all you can eat for 45 minutes. So they're making the sushi and putting on the conveyor belts and you take what you wanna take and they'll make what you want. And, uh, and that's how the experience is, it's pretty cool. Right, I'll be there. <laughs> And then uh, if you like the whole show, like at a Kobe Steakhouse or a Benihana, we have the, uh, the teppanyaki tables as well. So we do the full show there. That's pretty cool. Uh, pool up on the very top of the ship. This is uh, adults and children as well. Got a big video screen as well in the back where we'll show videos or movies and things like that. And I'm just going to kind of run through some quickly through some of the cabins. So this is really an inside cabin, no porthole, uh, no window, no balcony, just really an interior cabin. God, that's a big cabin, though, for an interior cabin. I got to be honest, the picture is a little bit misleading to get it on the slide. It kind of widens a little bit. They are okay. a good size. It's it's probably not quite as big as it looks. Okay. But there are they. Yeah, it looks yeah. a good size. Yeah. Yeah. It looks bigger than the normal inside cabins I've seen before. And there's a standard ocean view. So you have a nice uh, porthole there, a balcony. Um, these are really nice. You got, uh, got the balcony you can look out of. Um, and we've got various levels of balcony based on price, based on uh, where, they, where they're located on board the ship. Then we've got some really nice suites. Here's the interior of that suite that's on the aft of the ship. You can see that big picture window. It's got the big balcony, the wraparound balcony. Wow. Those are really nice. Um, and then we move in. We have an area of the ship called the Yacht Club. So if you have guests who are really looking for some luxury with uh, being catered to with a butler and concierge, we have some suites up in the Yacht Club as well that are uh, really very spacious and wow. big balconies with jacuzzis on them. That's nice. Right in the front of the ship, the floor to ceiling picture windows with a, ba a balcony off, off on the side as well. So, yeah, the ship's amazing. It's got some really beautiful accommodations. There's another whirlpool, uh, big balcony out on the outside of that, uh, on the outside of that suite as well. I might be upgrading my experience after this. <laughs> uh, all right. So one thing I really, really want to tell tell everybody about is Ocean Key MSC Marine Reserve. And what this is, this is our private island that we opened back in um, in November of 2019. So quick backstory on the island: it had a, a silica processing facility on it that had gone out of business. It had turned into kind of a dumping ground besides all the, all the trash and stuff that they had left there originally. Um, other people had dumped a lot of stuff on the island. And so it was kind of just a waste island. So we came in, we did a 99 year lease with, uh, with uh, the Bahamian government and we really spent close to four years restoring it. We took 7,500 tons of material off the island in, and out of the water surrounding the island, took it all off, cleaned all the sand, reshaped the island a little bit, planted 75,000 uh, plants and trees and shrubs and grasses indigenous to, uh, to the Bahamas and uh and open up the island as a matter of fact we did such a good job of cleaning up the area that the bahamas actually named it a marine reserve so that's not just a name that's it's an actual marine reserve you can't harvest anything in the 64 square miles around the water of course you can play it and have a great time um, but the island itself is just amazing so some of our competitors have islands that have you know uh, water parks and things like that we decided to go the opposite way and go the natural way so ocean key is just an island a beautiful island it's got seven different beaches Every single beach has its own bathroom facilities, its own bar, uh, and its own uh, food station there, so you can grab a light snack. Um, 
you have a main buffet set up in the middle of the island, which has more substantial food if you want to have a, a bigger lunch. Um, but the island itself is just amazing. Um, They've got to be grateful for you guys for doing that, huh? Well, I mean, it's just it, it's just beautiful. It, you know, it was really just really a trash island before we came in and cleaned it up. And um, but it was perfect for our use. It had a big channel that was already dug into the island that we can use for the ship. So um, it's been very beneficial for both of us. Both yes. of us. But um, yes, yeah, since we uh, really cleaned up the island, the, the birds have come back. The loggerhead sea turtles are, are are nesting on the island again. So the island itself has really come a long way. Um, but the island for our guests, it has a lot of great things to do. It's got a little Bahamian village where you can eat and shop and drink. Um, of course, you can do some great shore excursions there. There's snorkeling, kayaking, paddle boarding. Um, you can rent jet skis. You can you can um, uh, rent these nice mats and just lay in the lagoon or lay in the waters around the island. Uh, it's just super, super relaxing. The, light, uh, the, the island also has a big lighthouse and a lighthouse bar. So if you love a great sunset, uh, the, the sunset at the lighthouse bar is just amazing. It's right out on the point. You've got somebody sitting there playing guitar and you're having a drink and the sun's setting. It's just, it's a great, it's a great thing. Okay, and, so I just got a quick question. So obviously it's not like the regular stops where you got to be back on the boat at four o'clock if you're watching sunset. They must stay late or overnight or what? We do on this particular cruise. Uh, you guys, uh, you guys will get in at eight o'clock in the morning and stay until eight o'clock at night. So you okay. have a full day and into the evening. Very cool. That's that's way better than you know. Most of the time, you got to be back on the ship at four o'clock. Yeah, like exactly. It. And the fact uh, fact of the matter is, the ship actually docks there, so you don't have to tender in and 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 use tender operations to get onto the island. So while the ship is there, you can walk on and off the ship as often as you need. So it's, it's really very convenient, especially if you you know forget your sunglasses or something. You can just walk right back on the ship and, and get what you need and come back on the island. Love it. But uh, the island itself is amazing. It's got like a little welcome center. I'm just going to thumb through a few pictures here. Um, shore excursion desk. Um, we've got a nice spa on the island. So if you want to get a massage, uh, it's in a covered area off on a faraway beach with some nice mellow music playing. Uh, they'll give you a nice massage there if you want to do that. You've got the lighthouse bar, the little village, the North Island. Um, this is the lagoon that we dug out. It's great for families. Uh, protected waters there, so uh, you know it's not really set to the open ocean. Right. And of course, jet skiing around the island is always a lot of fun. We have an excursion that does that. These are the trucks where you have one of these trucks at every single beach. So they have a light snack there, like hamburgers or hot dogs, um, uh, drinks, and things like that. So if you need something light, you can just you know while you're at the beach and you don't want to go all the way back to the buffet, you've got that option. It's, it's very convenient. Um, it's a great picture of the lighthouse that we built. That is beautiful. Another great picture. And then one really cool thing is that um, your, your, your guys' uh, itinerary stays into the evening. So we do a laser light show on the lighthouse at night, and we light bonfires on the beach and um, make a big beach party out of it. So it's really, really cool. And if you if you book on the – I'll tell you this, if, uh, a little, hit, little tip. If you book a balcony on the even side of the ship, 95% of the time, that's the side that's facing the island. So if you didn't want to go to the island for the show, you can actually just watch it right off your balcony. On the even side? Yeah, it would be an even cabin number. Okay, I'm glad you told me that. All right, got it. Now, it's not every time. You'll see the ship right now in this picture. It's docked with the uh, with the bow facing the lighthouse. So that's how it docks 95% of the time, and that's the that's the even side of the cabins are getting the, the view. Okay, got it. And then just kind of wrap things up. I mean, this is the itinerary that you guys are doing. You're going into uh, Ocho Rios, Jamaica, Grand Cayman, which is probably my favorite stop in the in the uh, in the Caribbean. Um, Cozumel, Ocean Key, and then back into or actually. Yeah, Ocean Key last night back into Miami. So, right. oh, one thing I want to make sure that, that everybody knows about, and this is something really that only MSC does, and what it's called is called status match. What this is, if you if you or you know anybody that's cruising um, has attained a certain status level in the repeat passenger program of another cruise line, of another land type vacation like a Breezes or a Sandals, or a hotel chain like a Hilton Honors or a Marriott Points, if you show us your status level with that other company we will bring you into our repeat passenger program and give you all the benefits that are comparable to the level that you're at with that other vendor okay so it's a really cool program so um uh you know it'll just get you some extra perks when you're sailing and have you been on i know you've been on a bunch of cruises. have you been on this one i have been on this i've been on both the seascape and i've done that itinerary probably 15 times okay well so you've got pretty good status then i guess right <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I am. I am diamond status. Yes. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, my, I really, really appreciate you doing this. And we're looking forward to, like I said, this is our, our very first curated trip, but we're going to be doing a lot of them in the future. And uh, I would imagine, you know, multiple cruises per year. So this will not be our, our first time with MSC, but I really appreciate you taking the time and, and going through all that for us. Well, thanks, Jake. I'm, I've been, in, I got to tell you, I've been in the industry for a little over 30 years now, and I've been on, 
I don't know how many cruise ships. I would put MSC ships up against anybody's cruise ships. Our, our, the hardware is just amazing. I mean, when you guys get on board the CCA, you're going to be blown away. I mean, she's beautiful. You're going to have a great cruise. We're looking forward to it. Thank you. I don't know about you, but I, I think that upgrade, Jake, uh, to that, you know, the yacht status, man, that, those bat, those balconies look pretty, uh, pretty enticing, doesn't it? Uh, pretty amazing how the whole ship is, is so nice. And the fact that it's, you know, brand new, I'm just, uh, I'm looking forward to it. We're gonna have a good time. Yeah, it'll be fun. For those of you that are asking, I put the link for the cruise in the uh, chat. I put the link for February in the chat. I put the link for uh, my social media marketing uh, party next week in the chat. I would definitely uh, go all out. I know it's a holiday weekend. So one, I want you to enjoy yourself, celebrate, have a toast, New Year's of, of your uh, successes in 2023 and look at all the, what you might consider failures as lessons in 2023 and learn from them. I know you know, I've had a lot of lessons in 2023. I've had a lot of wins. I've created a tremendous amount of uh, solid relationships that I'm incredibly grateful for. And I am just ecstatic for 2024, not just in my business life, but my personal life. I've got a lot of, uh, I'm not a, I'm not a uh, New Year's resolution guy, uh, but I have a lot of big, big goals uh, personally and business wise for 2024. And uh, when I tell you that I'm grateful for you, trust me, I, I appreciate each and every one of you tremendously. And, and I know a lot of you personally, a lot of you I don't know personally, but I can't wait to get to know you. I love relationships. I love building camaraderie and community. And, uh, and we're building this company, a dream corporation, so we can get in the trenches and go do what we love to do, which is go build. So um, with that being said, Jake, Bart, Corinne, Sloppy, the team, the leaders, my friends, my family, appreciate you guys, love you guys. And uh, next week, we're going to be uh, pulling our first raffle of the cruise, the VIP, you know, the in-person event. And next week, Corinne will be going over our new launch system that we couldn't get access to today. So just know that uh, we're grateful. We're working. Put us to work. Put me in coach. I'm ready to play. And uh, have a great weekend, everybody. Take care. Happy New Year.